Hey foodies, welcome to Minu K. Today I will be making a delicious lunch recipe for you, the chicken dahi. This recipe is a very simple recipe which can be made within 15 to 20 minutes if all your ingredients are mixed up well together. For this I will be using 250 grams boneless chicken, 400 grams curd, this is fresh curd. Here I have two red chilies, ginger garlic paste approximately one and a half spoon, fresh coriander, mustard oil for making our chicken. Here I have minced my onion. This is about two onions large in size. I have made a fine paste of that. One large tomato fine paste. And in my dry masalas, I have turmeric powder, half a spoon, garam masala, one spoon, salt and red chilli according to taste. I also have cinnamon sticks which I will be using onto my recipe. So first we will marinate our chicken and if time permits, please keep the marination for about an hour or more because then the taste of your chicken comes out absolutely delicious. In this recipe, I will not be using any water. My entire recipe will be made with the curd only. Onto a large mixing bowl will first go in our chicken. Along with the chicken, I will be adding my dry ingredients. I'll add a little bit of oil to bind my masalas and the chicken properly. And now in goes my curd. So for the marination, I'll be using about two and a half spoons of curd. Mix this all well. And I'm going to keep this for marination for about an hour as I have time. So I will like to marinate my chicken well so that all the ingredients mix very well with my chicken and the taste comes out really good. So while my chicken is getting marinated, I will start with the second preparation. So onto my pressure cooker, I will add the mustard oil. You can even add a spoon of ghee because the combination of the two comes out very, very delicious. Once the oil gets hot, I will add my dry ingredients. You can even add a spoon of jeera if you like the taste of that. And now in goes my onion. I have to cook my onion till it becomes absolutely transulent and it starts releasing the oil. Because the way we cook our chicken, the most important thing is to have our masalas and our uh, onion, tomato or whatever we are adding onto our chicken very well cooked. The rawness of the smell goes away and that makes the chicken absolutely scrumptious. So the onion is cooking well. I will let this cook for about a minute or two more and then I will add my tomato paste. But before that, in will go our ginger garlic paste. Please subscribe, please like, please share our recipes. Please support Minu K because without your support, our channel will not be able to perform as good as we do. Your support, your love is what we require. So the onion is cooking up well and now I will be adding my ginger garlic paste. Cook this again for about a minute. So the onion and the ginger garlic paste have cooked up well. I can smell the rawness of the onion and the garlic paste have gone. And now I'm going to be adding our tomato. 
again mix it all well as we have already added masalas to our marinated chicken i am not adding any more masalas to my gravy i would like to add just probably a pinch of uh, hing because with hing the taste comes out very good and it's very good for the digestion system also so i will add a pinch of hing to my cooked masala once it is absolutely ready so our chicken has got very well marinated and so has our masala our gravy is almost ready you can see the tomato has blended very well with the onion and the ginger garlic so now i will add my chicken to the gravy and we will start with the next procedure so our cook chicken is cooking very well to this now i will add my curd and i will cook this for about 5 to 10 minutes till our chicken becomes tender i will add a bit of coriander leaves so that they can also leave their flavors on to our chicken So foodies are very delicious and hot hot the heat chicken is ready you can see how well the color has come chicken has cooked up very well along with that i am serving hot chapatis hot gulab jamuns and some salad with chutney so a complete meal this can be a lunch meal a dinner meal a party meal anything you can take it for if you wish for me to share the recipe of the gulab jamun please mention in the comment box and if you like my recipe please like it please share it and please subscribe to menu k so enjoy a scrumptious meal with us and take care of yourself bye bye